this episode was pretty good, but not as good as the last episode. Episode 4 of Season 2 of ReZero was definitely the best so far, as we got to see Subaru go and say goodbye to his parents, which a lot of isekai don't really do. But in this episode, we see Subaru go back to the regular world of ReZero. But without further ado, let's just jump right on in. So this episode starts out where the last one left off, where Subaru meets Akidona or Akina in the classroom. And the first thing that Subaru says is that Akina looks real good in the school uniform. I mean, he's not wrong, I mean, just, just look at that. But they finally gave us an opening. The first episode in season two, five episodes in, we finally get the opening at the beginning of the episode. Not as the ending, but we finally get it as the opening. Uh, hopefully they'll continue to give us the opening because the theme song in the opening is pretty damn good. But after the opening, uh, Akina and Subaru continue their conversation. And Subaru asks what this place is, and Akina says that it's part of the Sanctuary Trial, and that she created all of this from Subaru's memories, so all of the stuff that happened in the last episode technically wasn't real, it was just based off Subaru's memories. And then Akina starts popping up all over the classroom they're in, talking about how she knows Subaru's like deepest and darkest secrets or more like his desires basically saying that she could make an actual representation of Subaru's parents and Subaru's previous life and like what his parents actually thought of him and like that they actually loved him and I just gotta say that Akina seems pretty damn powerful but after some time and Akina kind of making fun of Subaru's parents and Subaru sticking up for them. Subaru actually thanks Akidona or Akina for letting him technically get the chance to say goodbye to his parents even though they technically weren't really his parents but just to give him the opportunity to say goodbye and he seems really thankful for that. But then Akina says that this is only the first trial and that there are three graveyard trials. But after talking for a little bit more, Subaru says that he's not going to pass the sanctuary trials, Amelia is. And with that, Subaru wakes up back like where he passed out in like where he found Amelia. But when he finds Amelia and like he's holding her in her arms, she wakes up and she realizes that she went like she underwent the trial. But she failed and she starts to have a panic attack because of like whatever like she had to go through in her trial like it was some messed up shit her past must have been fucked up dude and sad as hell because it's like it's like utterly broke her at that moment and she just has this panic attack while Subaru all he can basically do is just sit there and try to comfort her. But after that, we cut to Subaru, Garfield, Otto, and Ram talking, and we get this funny scene of uh, Garfield drinking um, Ram's shitty tea that was apparently made from grass. But while they're talking, Otto comes up with the idea of a way to get out of the sanctuary, saying that since uh, the mixed-blooded people, uh, I guess like the demi-humans basically, uh, since if they try to leave the sanctuary, they go unconscious, but the regular humans, they should just, like, pick up their unconscious bodies and just carry them out of the sanctuary. That's what Otto came up with. But in response to that, we get introduced to a new character, or a, a character that Subaru saw, and that I guess we saw a couple of episodes ago. And it was that pink-haired elf. Or at least I'm assuming she's an elf because, you know, she kind of has pointy ears. And it turns out her name is Ryuzu Bilma. And she tells them that Otto's plan won't work because they'll basically be carrying an empty shell of a person. Basically carrying the body without the soul as the soul will stay in the sanctuary. Hence the term 
empty shell. But after some more dialogue between all these characters, we get a scene with Subaru and Amelia in Amelia's bedroom, I guess. Meaning, like, Amelia, she was recovering from the Sanctuary Trial. And this is a nice scene because while they're, like, talking, Amelia subconsciously uh, grabs out to Subaru because Puck isn't there and she's been through some real shit. And since Subaru's the only one there, it signifies that they're getting closer little by little, anyway. Which is a nice touch, I like how they did that. But they kind of play it off as it being just a misunderstanding and something kind of embarrassing, but it's not that, it signifies that they're definitely getting closer. And then Subaru asks her to try and take the sanctuary trial again. And deep down, you can tell that Amelia does not want to do that at all, but she knows that she has to for everyone. But the next scene after that is a conversation between Ram and Subaru, with Ram telling Subaru that there's a faction in the Sanctuary that doesn't really want to leave, and they're not too trustworthy of outsiders. And she basically just gives Subaru kind of warning, I guess. But then uh, the next scene after that is Amelia taking the trial once again and everyone kind of just waiting around and seeing if she'll actually, like, pass this time. But sadly, she ends up failing yet again. And you can tell that whatever, like, her past is, it's pretty dark. But then after that, we get a conversation between Roswell and Subaru. And holy shit, it's probably one of the best parts of this episode. It's revealed that Roswell is the one responsible for the witch cult attacking, like, the village and all that. Just so that it could boost Amelia for, like, the royal selection. And this, man, this, this pisses Subaru off, dude, like... He's pretty pissed, but Roswell says that deep down he knows that it was the right choice to make. And that's why he calls Subaru his partner in crime. And they're just left there like thinking, damn dude, man if Subaru didn't have to return by death, he wouldn't stand a hell of a chance. He would have died a long time ago. But after this we get a nice chat between uh, Amelia and Subaru under this like starry night sky which is kind of romantic I guess if you think about it. And again Subaru asks Amelia if she can like redo or take the sanctuary trial again and deep down Amelia doesn't want to do it you can see that but she knows that she has to like she did last time for everyone's sake. And so she agrees to it, a little bit reluctantly. But after this, Subaru and Otto uh, leave to go back to the mansion with Garfield taking them to the sanctuary walls, or the sanctuary barrier I guess, or as far as he can go. And with that, Subaru returns to the mansion, but something is off. Subaru can't find anyone, he can't find Petra or Frederica, and that's when he realizes something is definitely off and he decides to go and check on Rem. But as he's doing so, he realizes that he got attacked, and when he's bleeding and dying on the floor, he looks up to his attacker, and it's an old enemy, it's, it turns out to be Elsa. A bitch from the first arc that killed Subaru over and over and over again. And with that, we get our first Subaru death of season 2. Probably the first of many. I wonder at what point Subaru is going to return to, and how he's gonna deal with Elsa, because with the last time, he had to get fucking Reinhard to deal with her, and Reinhard is probably like one of the most powerful characters in the entire world of ReZero. So I have no idea how he's going to deal with Elsa. 
but overall this was a pretty good episode but I feel the last episode was uh, still better than this one but this episode was still really really good and I really liked it but with that there's not really much else to talk about so I'm going to end it off here, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go subscribe to my other channels, the links to those will be down in the description below. Also, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links to those will be down in the description as well. And yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.